Hello guys and welcome to the first video on the Defence and Attack YouTube channel. My name is Jordan. Today we'll be starting a new Road to Glory Football Manager save on the new Football Manager for FM22. Uh, and we will be doing this Road to Save with Wrexham in the Vanarama National. Uh, the goal is to get to the Premier League, win the Prem, win the Champions League, win everything possible. And the manager that will be doing that and taking us forward will be Vinnie Jones. So, for those of you who don't know, if we go into uh, the profile of the club even. The directors, is it on here? Is it on this bit? I don't know, it'll be in staff anyway, all staff. The two directors are Ryan Reynolds, the chairperson, and the director is Rob McAnelly, the two um, Hollywood superstars, Ryan Reynolds being Deadpool, uh, have bought Wrexham, they have big aims for the club, and they've gone with Vinnie Jones, they also, what is it, um, Hollywood uh, co-star, to take over ex Welsh international, he's played for Wimbledon, he's played for Chelsea, he's played for Wales. He's been out of football for a long, 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 long time. As you can see, he's 56 years old, this is his first managerial job, but they, he's been entrusted with taking the club forward. Hopefully, he'll be able to call on some friends, some celebrities, um, people who's going to help us going forward. But looking at the squad, as you can see, I've only just started the save, so I have not seen anything about Wrexham at all. What I will say, the new football manager, it does seem a little bit laggy, but we are still in the beta, or the better, whatever you prefer to say. But we're getting it. Uh, the tactical, we are going to set up our tactics now. All of this I'll do off camera and do it in a lot more detail, but we need to start it up to go forward. So the formation I want to do, I want to do wing play. I'm going to go 4-3-3. Just basically a, a better 4-4-2 really. Well, it's not a better 4-4-2 at all. It's, that's completely different. 4-3-3. But with a DM instead of attacking mid. We're going to confirm that. And we're going to make the one on the left an inside forward or an inverted winger. And person is the winger on the right on attack. Wing back support. Yeah, that also looks good to me. So obviously I'll fill all this do it in a lot more detail. But for now, this is the way we're going to play. I haven't seen the tip players that we've got yet, and but we'll be able, we'll be looking to bring our own players and get our own stamp on the game. So if we go into our finances, as you can see, we're in pretty good stead, especially for the Vanarama National. We got three million pounds in the bank, two hundred and fifty k transfer budget, and forty three k wage budget. So we've got a lot of room to manoeuvre here, bringing a lot of new players. Um, the goal is, the, if we don't get promoted in the first season, with the money we've got, that's going to be a failure for us. We want to be in League 2 as soon as possible, because I find League 2 and League 1, they're not too hard to get out of, but the Championship, that's the competitive league that's always a little bit difficult to progress with. So, when we come back now, uh, we're going to come back for the first game of the season, which is <clears throat> against Yeovil at home. Uh, we're going to come back to that game. I'll show you all the transfers that we've done. And, uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. So, guys, here we are at the first game of the season against Yeovil. But here we are. We're going to go through our signings that we've made. So, as you can see from down here, we've made one, two, three, six signings all together. Uh, all of these signings here are who have been signed in real life. But from Romeo Beckham down to Amir Hughes, they're the five that I've signed. So let's start with Romeo Beckham then. I hinted before, they might be, uh, Vinny might be getting on to some of his uh, celebrity friends, see who can get in, and he spoke to David Beckham and he's managed to get his son on loan from Inter Miami. Now, you may think this is kind of a troll signing, and to an extent it kind of is. But for this level of football, he actually isn't rated too badly he's got some decent dribbling at 11 18 years old he's got quite a bit of way to improve he's not going to become any like premier league player or anything don't get me wrong but his physicals for this level are pretty decent and he's got some okay technicals to go with it he's 11 uh dribbling and 13 finishing are very good he could 
He can also play cover striker, but we'll be playing him out on the right wing, just like his dad did. His crossing, we really want to go up a little bit more at seven. But for now, we're going to see how he does. He's going to be our starting right mid, and we're going to. See, he's had a decent preseason as well, though he did get injured for a few weeks, so he's not fully at full fitness. Going on then, we also have signed his Inter Miami or Fort La Rodale um, teammate. That's Inter Miami's uh, youth team, feeder club, whatever you want to call them. And this is Phil Neville's son and Gary Neville. So he's been on the books at Valencia when Gary and Phil were there, also at Man United. And now he's ended up at Wrexham on loan. He's not... Same as Romeo again. He's not the best of players technically or mentally, but he's got some nice physicals for this league. And he's already improving a little bit. We have also improved some of our coaches. We've got some good coaches in. But we're going to see how he does on the right. Try and recreate that Neville and Beckham partnership from year, uh, years ago. So... What I did notice we didn't have in the squad, we didn't have much of a playmaker. So who we've gone and done is the only one we spent money on. We signed Scott Pollock from Northampton. Now, I'm sure all of you know who Scott Pollock is, or a lot of you who watch YouTube, because he actually came through the academy at hashtag United Spencer FC's uh, football club. Now, that's not why we've signed him. We've signed him because for this level, he's actually got some very, very decent technical stats. He's got 13 first touch, 12 passing, and 13 te technique with 17 vision. Um, and for this level that we're at, down in the Vanarama National, he's going to be a very, very good player. Also, he's going to be a good... He's got some good mentals. His technicals... Uh, sorry, his physicals could do with a bit of work, but I think he's going to be a very, very solid player for us. Now... We did spend quite a bit of money on him, but there was, wasn't at the time when I signed him, there wasn't many players around who were going to get a hold of. And I didn't really want to get a, a load of more loans in, because we want some permanent signings as well. So we've signed him for 150k, potentially going to 175 I think that's after like 20 or 30 goals. So from centre mid, he probably won't be getting that. But we'll see. If he does, it won't be this season anyway. And then our last three signings are free transfers. So, um, from Scotty Pollock, uh, we mentioned we needed a, a playmaker in midfield. And then, later on, I found Amir Hughes. Not, uh, a very, very decent player for this level. He's been capped 11 times for the Welsh national team and scored one goal. He used to be on the Man City books. He also went to Northampton, just like Scotty. He's played for Birmingham, but then he got a permanent move to... Uh, Wigan after a loan signing for 2.5 million didn't really play there I know Amir's had a lot of injuries in his career and it's something we are gonna have to be weary of in this season but he's played in the championship he scored goals in the championship um, uh, and more recently in League One but now he's signed for us down in the Vanarama National and hopefully he's gonna be a very very good player for him, for us We've also signed Rhys Hutchinson, the um, ex-Burton uh, youth academy player. You know, have a left back. He's a very, very solid player for this level again. Physicals aren't too great, aren't too bad. Shouldn't really be a problem. He's got some nice technicals for this league. His nine crossing uh, is going to be decent for us. But he's actually got some very, very nice mentals, which go with his technicals as well. So I think he's going to be a very good signing for us. He is on a 1.5k um, wage per week, which is very high, but we are a squad with a lot of money, so uh, players know this and they're going to want uh, more cash. And our last signer then is the ex-West Ham uh, academy player in Jamal Hector Ingram, naturally a striker, though we're going to be playing him out on the left as an inside forward. He's got some nice technicals, some very good physicals for this um, division. Mentals could do with a bit of work, but at this level, that's not really something that's going to be something that much of a problem. So the outs then, where have we? So from Jordan Davis downwards, these are the outs we've gone. We've only sold one player for actual cash, and that is Jordan Davis. We sold him for 15k. Um, could have got 
a bit more for him. It said from my scout to my director of football for his estimated price at the time. But he is a left footer who would have been playing as an inside forward out on the left. Didn't really seem um, worth trying him there when we got players like Hector Ingram being signed. So we sold him, got rid of some of his wages and... Uh, got 15k as well, but he was a decent player and if we were playing a winger out on the left He's someone I would have kept but Then we've also uh, Loaned out Ryan Austin for a bit of cash Somebody who wasn't as very very far from the first team and then three players here far from the first team um, players who aren't going to play and Basically, we just wanted off our books because our squad is quite large as you're about to see so this is the tactic then, we're still playing the wing play, I've changed it to attacking, I've set up some corner tactics and this is what we'll be doing. Our starting goalkeeper and Rob Layton is currently injured, so we'll be starting, Christian Dibble is the better goalkeeper, oh I thought he was the better goalkeeper, but either way he is same star rated as this uh, Dord uh, Szczepaniak, Szczepaniak I think that's probably right, Szczepaniak. Um, Someone who we are actually trying to loan out, but we're getting no uh, offers from his squad. So he's going to be playing in goal until Rob Layton is back in eight days. But as you can see, we've got quite a large squad here. We, there's quite a few players here we're still trying to get rid of. And due to us being over our wage budget by £300. But £300? Uh, £800. What am I doing? But these are some players who are still... So, but I feel like we've got a very strong squad here going into the first game of the season. So Amir Hughes will be starting as an anchor man. He can also play as a playmaker. But we got Scotty Pollock playing as the playmaker in midfield. As you can see, Romeo Beckham is not fit. He hasn't played for a little while, a uh, few weeks now because he's been out injured. But he's going to start this game and he'll probably be subbed off at some point to see how we go. So into the first game then against Yeovil. Yeovil recently been in the Football League, so not going to be an easy game for us. But a game at home, we want to be winning to kick off our um, uh, our season. And as I've already stated, we want to be winning the uh, league. Well, and going up in the first season. So it's something. Uh, so to start off with a win will be very good. Now we need to slow this down a little bit more. What we are going to do, we're going to be playing it in 2D, but the replays are going to be on in director, so they will be in uh, 3D. Just a personal preference, I've played for Moranjo for a long time, and I've always played it in 2D. It's just something I prefer. So this is what we're going to do. Yovel starts, yeah, no, no. We're going to do this. Latest scores over here. League table over here. Yeovil stat. Sorry, it's probably not something you really want to see. But that's what we're going to go with. And no, latest scores. We'll sort that out later. Anyway, so we've got a highlight here Neville to Beckham. Just building it. Remember, we're all about the wings, so we're always going to be trying to stretch the play, get out wide, get our crosses in. Hutchinson is won a penalty here in the 14th minute. We don't have VAR at this level. So who is it stepping up to take our first penalty? Paul Mullin, our star striker, has scored the first goal for Wrexham in the save. And we're off to a winning start. And here it is in the 3D then. It's gone to the goalkeeper's left. Uh, gone to the goalkeeper's right. And he had... No chance with that one. But they got a dangerous free kick here out on the left. Hutchinson has failed to clear it, but their striker has hit the post and it's gone out wide. Something I have noticed this year on FM in my own personal saves, as, as Shizpaniak makes a good save from a free kick there, is crossing seems to be a little bit overpowered in the beta at the moment. And free kicks. I'm not sure I um, support Arsenal. Uh, so I have an Arsenal save that Odegaard has scored me quite a lot of free kicks. And I'm not sure that that's down to Odegaard's free kicks, though he only has 15. Or it's because um, they're a little bit overpowered at the moment as well. 
But Reese Hutchinson at left back won the penalty. He's got injured. He's going to have to come off, and we're going to be having to bring on Cameron Green. <coughs> Something about this level as well is um, there's only five substitutes on your bench, whereas in the football league you get seven. So I've had to um, make it so I've got Reese. We've got a. Somebody on the bench who can play right back and centre back, then a left back sitting there. We have one centre mid who can cover DM and centre mid, and then we have a striker and someone who can cover on the wing, but he also can cover up top. The only thing about Liam McAlden on our bench, though I do think he's a very decent player, he's left footed as an um, inside forward or an inverted winger, something which doesn't fit our formation, but he's a quality player, so hopefully that shouldn't really matter. But if we do manage to uh, somehow get a decent offer for him and we can replace him, that is something I will definitely look at doing. We've started here about seven minutes into the second half now. We've got the ball in midfield. Um, Jones is very, very highly rated and is a very decent player on, in our team. Uh, so he's a decent player in midfield. But Beckham's won a free kick out there. He's going to get Noel sent off for Yeovil and it looks like we're going to go. Uh, it's going to be... 11 versus 10. So this is a game now we really should be seeing out. We're still on attacking. It looks like they're going to go down to nine men. They're going to get another red card with Wakefield getting sent off as well. But Beckham, he's sitting there on a 6.3. He's unfit, so we're going to sub him off. And we're going to bring on Liam, as we were saying. He's going to be playing as an inverted wing. I'm not going to play him as a winger because he is left-footed. And we're going to see how he does. But this has been a good performance for us, very solid. We've had a, uh, we haven't created a lot, but we are also down up uh, two men now. So really, I would be wanting one or two more goals. But as you can see, we've got an expected goals of one point three. They've got a zero point two three with three shots. So we are dominating the game, and but we do need. I want that two goal cushion because, well it's just a lot more comfortable for us especially when they have nine men we should be getting all over them now with the wing play fast attacking get out to the wings run forward get the crosses in and get more goals but they've just given the ball away um with an over the top ball aimlessly there green's picked up the ball and driving the ball out and we're going to see what we can do from here and they're going to get another red card there's three red cards in the second half for yeovil and we're still only 1-0 up by a Paul Mullin penalty, which is disappointing for us. Are they going to get us the fourth and get the game abandoned? They're not. They're not. But look, I can't believe I haven't actually seen that in Football Manager for a long, long time. I remember in my old saves on like Football Manager 2014, um, I had an online save and one of my friends was in the Champions League against Dortmund and he got three players sent off and still somehow managed to win the game. But as you can see... Um, so, I've given the team a decent team talk there, tell them they've played well, but some are motivated, some seem to motivated, but it is kind of disappointing that we only scored one goal against eight men. But first game, clean sheet, Hutchinson's going to be out for seven weeks, which means Cameron Green will be coming into the team. But there we are. So, first game, clean sheet and a win. Uh, next episode, then, we're going to be coming back. We'll go through uh, five games at a time. Let's try and get this first season out of the way as quick as possible. So, one, two, three, four, five. We'll come back to the Grimsby game away and the Dagenham and Redbridge game. So, that's the first episode, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you want to see what Vinny can do more with Wrexham, please subscribe, like, and I'll see you next time. Mighty champions, raise your voices to the end.